bit about everything that I found at Dollar Tree. I actually went to about three Dollar Trees like on different days in the week. Like I was passing by somewhere and I saw a random Dollar Tree. So of course your girl stopped and went inside. So that's three Dollar Trees, three different bags full of different finds. So this video is going to be intense and I hope you are ready. so far it's not my favorite find of the whole haul but as of right now like in this moment this one is my favorite I actually found kiss nails the press on nails yes the same ones that they carry at Walgreens and even Dollar General and CVS for full price the same kiss nails I found them in Dollar Tree for $1.25 I was definitely impressed the ones that I decided to pick up would be the kiss fantasy and I don't know if you ladies are familiar with kiss fantasy nails but they are like a step up from the regular kiss nails so you have the shorter variety that you usually see in the store they usually cost around $5.99 in CVS and Walgreens and then you have kiss fantasy which can run from like $7.99 all the way up to like $10.99 depending on which store you go to because you know some of these stores like to jack up those prices but to see them at Dollar Tree for $1.25 was definitely a win they had them in this longer variety these are ready to wear nails they have the gel look with an ultra smooth finish you get 24 nails in this pack so for $1.25 that was definitely a steal I had to pick one up so finding the press on nails was already a win but when I looked over I noticed that they actually had a full row of KISS glue. The real glue, the full size of the KISS glue. I have gone into those same stores that I just mentioned and spent a small fortune on KISS glue when I needed it in a pinch. So we have KISS nails, we have KISS glue. The only thing that can make all of this better is if the Dollar Tree Fairy Godmother waved her wand and we got KISS lashes up in Dollar Tree. I'm talking about the bougie kind, the fluffy ones. You know what I mean? Y'all pray with me that that will happen in the near future. But for now, I'm gonna settle for those gel nails and this glue. I love the fact that Dollar Tree is just hitting us with all these name brands and there is something else major that I want to tell you that they're doing with name brand products but before I do that I want to talk to you about these lip products that I found in Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're new or old but they are new to me. Actually one of them actually says new on the package so it's new to you too girl. But I saw LA Colors. We always see LA Colors in Dollar Tree but they are coming back with a vengeance. I saw a full shelf of LA Colors. I love their concealer. I have loved their products for years but this time they hit us with a sugar lip scrub and I know everybody is not down with LA colors but I definitely am the sugar lip scrub it sounds really good I know I'm gonna have to go back and pick that one up and they also hit us with a lip plumper now that's not what I'm wearing today but I heard that the LA colors lip plumper actually does wonders so that's another thing that I'm putting on my list if you have used it please let us know in the comments how it works we need to know like let's share tips before we make these purchases now what I really want to talk about let's get into the more juicy stuff what I really want to talk about is what Dollar Tree is doing with all this hiding name brands in plain sight I don't know if you guys have really noticed but Dollar Tree is hiding major name brands in plain sight but you have to be looking or you're gonna miss it now we know that companies love to sample their products in discount stores so that the average consumer that might not want to spend all of that money can get a taste for the luxury or at least what some may feel is luxury and then maybe they will be willing to buy it at full price later on so we have covergirl rimmel and so many other brands showing up in dollar tree but here's the catch they are not in their regular packaging, so you might miss them. If you go in Dollar Tree looking for the CoverGirl packaging, they might have one or two products that are in the original packaging. But what I notice is Dollar Tree and the manufacturers are giving us a chance to sample these products and they are putting them in the most plain Jane packaging that we might never notice. When you go to that makeup aisle, look for the CoverGirl packaging. It will be in a plain white package. They actually have the highlighter. It's the True Blend Super Stunner 
highlighter. It has the CoverGirl branding. Maybe they didn't give you like a tool that might typically come with it, like a small blush tool or something like that. They left that out. They didn't give you the fancy packaging and just like that, voila, it's in Dollar Tree. The same thing with the Rimmel brand, the Rimmel lip brand. They have some of the lip products in Dollar Tree and I saw some other Rimmel products. Again, not in the fancy packaging, but who cares about the package? I'm gonna rip that thing open anyway and get to the makeup. I was also really surprised to see Airspun in Dollar Tree in that same unassuming packaging. Now this next one that is in the unassuming packaging, I think a lot of ladies will be impressed with this one. I saw, are you ready? I saw Sally Hansen nail colors. I'm excited just talking about it. I love Sally Hansen. I have for a long time. I saw Sally Hansen nail colors in really fun varieties in Dollar 25 Tree just sitting there on the shelf. They had so many fun varieties and that's what made it exciting because these are some of the ones that you would see in some of those big drugstores like I talked about CVS and Walgreens. You would see them really really pricey but here in Dollar Tree of course they won 25 so of course your girl had to pick some up. Now these next two things I want to talk to you about. One I need your opinion on because I have not tried it and the other one I'm telling you that it works wonders on your lips. So let's start with that one first I'm talking about the chapstick total hydration with sea minerals now I've seen this again in those bigger drugstores but seeing it in Dollar Tree I was like yes for this price I will definitely try it this actually works wonders I wasn't the only one in my family who got one so everyone who tried it was like wow girl my lips feel nice so I was like I definitely have to pick up one too so that's why I got it but it says it deeply conditions rejuvenates the lips for the coming day and it uses the restorative powers of the sea to nourish your lips. Now, I don't know how they did all of that and put that in here, but they talk about use the power of the sea. I wish I could be part of your world. The thing I needed your help on would be this salt range Himalayan pink salt nasal inhaler. <laughs> Wait, don't judge your girl. I know some of y'all are like, Erica, a nasal inhaler? Himalayan pink salt? Okay, I'm not up in here trying to inhale random things, but I don't know, it just said it's cooling and refreshing, natural mint oil. I just felt like it was gonna open things up some type of way. I don't know, I don't know, but I wanted to try it. But as you can see, I have not opened it yet because once I got it home and started thinking about it, I was like, I just can't be inhaling stuff. That's just not appropriate. So I need reviews. Y'all gotta tell me, is this good or is it? So for those of you who don't know what K-Tape is, K-Tape is like this really thin tape. It's like a medical tape, but athletes love it because it's like really flexible. You can wrap up your muscles. You can like wrap them up, but you still get some movement. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can move. If you have like sore muscles, it aids with that joint support, all of that stuff. So seeing it in Dollar Tree was definitely a win because in my household, we have tons of K-Tape. If you're an active family, like you do a lot of activities and stuff like that, you're hiking, you're going out, you're biking, you might have this in your house. If you don't, you might need it. So if you want us to try K-Tape, trust me, definitely try it and pick it up at Dollar Tree because for $1.25, they had tons of varieties, like at least three different brands and they have varieties between those brands for only $1.25. So yeah, this is the Iron Man variety by Curad. And of course, I was surprised to see the Iron Man variety by Curad in Dollar Tree, another win for sure. We're constantly seeing Yardley in Dollar Tree. I love the Yardley brand. I love that it's so affordable. And I love the fact that even though it's always affordable in Dollar Tree, they still carry it at other stores like Walgreens for full price. And it's like, wow, I love that I can still always go to Dollar Tree and pick up Yardley products. So I saw two new varieties of Yardley soap that I have not seen in my local Dollar Trees before. These scents, Lemon Verbena and Berry Blossom. And these are in the 14 ounce bottles and this is a hand soap. So I was really excited to get these for my guest bathroom. Just a basic Yardley hand soap, but I was really happy to see them in these scents. I love Yardley's Lemon Verbena and Berry Blossom. I think this one is new to me, but they smell really good and it's Yardley. I don't want to forget about the kids. So I do want to talk about some of the kids products that I found. Arm & Hammer dropped new scents again in the kids products. So if you're not familiar with the Arm & Hammer brand at Dollar Tree, 
go ahead and get familiar with it because it's getting pretty good reviews and they are dropping lots of kids products now i don't have any experience with their kids products so let us know in the comments if the kid products are getting the same reviews as the adults products i definitely want to know because they're dropping more and more scents on the last video i showed you a new arm and hammer scent now i went back to dollar tree and saw more kids arm and hammer scents and another thing i want to mention for the kids if you're watching girls they have the cutest little barbie detanglers i thought you might like them they had another character on the front too so barbie was the one that caught my eye but there was also another character that you girls might like so mamas if you have a girl she loves doing her hair or you love doing her hair these cute little barbie detanglers were so cute you can pick one up 125 since we mentioned the kids we have to mention the men so i went back and i saw more men's products from the nobleman line in the last video i talked a lot about the nobleman line at dollar tree and a lot of you in the comments said that that's actually a name brand line i did not know that so for their line to be in dollar tree that heavy that's major so if there's a man in your life or if you are a man <laughs> They actually added so many more products from this line all the way down to like a foot mask for men and a resurfacing skin peel. And I even saw a pore cleansing mask for the nose. So guys, they got you. They're making sure that the guys have just as many great products as the women have. And I think that's pretty cool. Let's keep talking about the guys. They deserve that much, right? I went down the clothing aisle and I saw socks for men and I was happy to see brands like Mossy Oak, name brands. So don't forget to check out that aisle, especially if you need work socks because work socks are a little bit more expensive than regular socks typically and i saw work socks by name brands in dollar tree that was pretty cool and they also had some new shirts in dollar tree plain shirts by name brands and they were really nice material they even had a few shirts in that easy dry athletic wear material and i thought that would be a good value for 125 each because easy dry material is not usually cheap so 125 seems like a decent price for that last but definitely not least i want to talk to you about something that is a little controversial there has been a lot of talk about these products some good some bad i'm in the middle i don't have an opinion one way or the other i just think it's pretty cool that they have it in dollar tree are y'all ready to discuss and i need to hear y'all's opinion in the comments because i gotta know like how do you feel about kendall and kylie jenner mm. kendall and kylie y'all girl kendall and y'all girl kylie released some products in dollar 25 tree and the haters are mad so let's do this let's talk about the products first of all i'm sure you want to know what the products are girl they release backpacks up in here so we have some backpacks in dollar 25 tree they come in different colors some of them are actually really cute but some of them do look childish so i said what i said they do look childish but tweens are going to love them that's the thing i don't care if they do look childish they have the kindle and kylie tag on them that's name brand so if you're looking for a quick backpack i personally don't see what the problem is with picking up one of theirs it's 125 and if you have somebody in your household that's a kendall and kylie fan you could literally just make their day by getting them a backpack that says kendall and kylie it only costs 125 and it fits so much stuff inside because i was up in dollar tree like nope this backpack looks too little there is no way you can get anything in here you can't get a piece of gum in this backpack that's how small it looked but when i opened it up i just start stuffing stuff in there and i was actually able to fit a lot in there i even made a reel and put it on my instagram to show how much you can actually fit in the kendall and kylie backpacks for 125 i think that's a value you can carry your stuff around even if you're using it to carry like something small around like your kids little toys or something small you can fit some little stuff in there so i thought that was really cool and the straps are adjustable and like I said, they come in some cute colors. Some of them look childish, but some of them, I mean, it's definitely wearable. And I kept walking around Dollar Tree, just seeing like Kendall and Kylie made me excited. So I kept walking around Dollar Tree and I actually saw Kendall and Kylie pencil cases. Now that I liked a little bit more than the backpacks because they were so cute and little and they looked really compact. Definitely something a teenager might really like. And even an adult, they're really colorful and cute. So I think even adults might like them. I like them. So we're going to wrap up this top five video. Let me know what you think about each of the items and what things that you want me to go searching for at Dollar Tree next because your girl is going back to Dollar Tree. I will probably be up in there tomorrow. So let me know what you want me to go looking for. I would love to do a video on the aisle of your choice. But that's going to be it for this video. OCC gang, I'm out. You're rocking with